what's going on guys this is going to be a, feel, a really quick video and if you want to see the actual video click in the link in the description because i will no longer be posting uh uh videos like that instead of from uh, a twitter page or something like that because i get guideline strike a copyright strike if i post the entire video of another uh company's you know video of services or whatnot like the video they provide on their article or you know through their youtube channels or whatnot so there was this white man i don't know what the hell was wrong with him but he had a knife he was charging at this car he was walking towards the cop now remember laquan mcdonald also had a knife in chicago pulaski highway 20 october 20th 2014 if you remember around i believe eight or nine something it was nighttime there was also another white man. I forgot his name. But the, every it was like every police officer that came out shot around him and all that stuff. And multiple bullets hit the wall. That's how much they shot at him. He had a knife. Now, this white man had a knife. and all that He was walking towards the cops. If you click in the link in the description, please, you will be able to find it. He had a knife. And uh, he was walking towards the cops or whatnot. They kept telling him, put the knife down. They, they warned about like. 20 times total and together over 20 times now they never gave laquan mcdonald that many that much warning they didn't give that black man too who was like who was like against the wall he was nowhere near the police officers but the east took like took shots at him i believe it was like 10 officers there or something uh they never gave tamir rice the chance to put down his toy gun his cap gun when he was playing in the park timothy loman that bastard just came out and just shot him uh and then dropped the he, he killed the kid and all that whole, I'm afraid for my life. So at this point, they wasn't afraid of their life. All the police training was, uh, so he ended up charging at that police officer that you see on the floor. He ended up charging at him and he shot him a couple times. He shot him. Maybe he shot like five or six shots. I think only one hit and hit on his shoulder. And this guy, I don't know what the hell he was on, but he actually got up and charged at that police officer that you see on the floor and put him in a headlock. He put him in a headlock, and then this police officer whose hand that you see right there that's pointing, he took the final shot, and he killed him. Now, even though he's dead, and even though, yes, I know there's white people that get killed by the cops, too. It's just the amount of time they took to do it. It's like the no numerous warnings they gave this man. You could just tell that this whole they need police training thing, you could tell it's all bull crap. They only say that when they kill a black person just to be like uh just to, for them to have empathy towards the cause or oh, let's take them to a, a black museum to show them what they've been through yada 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 blah 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 bullshit and you see how perfect their training was in this yeah they killed him but at the end of the day if he dropped the knife guess what he would have been home or maybe he would have been in prison what not he most likely would have gotten released on they would have gave him a low or low ball bond Probably would have gave him ten thousand dollar bond. He only had to pay one thousand, okay, or maybe a hundred thousand. He would only had to pay ten thousand. This looked like a real wealthy suburban area. So, yeah. With that being said, you know I, I I'm just disgusted because they know damn well this country treat black people like sh sugar honey iced tea, and they'll pretend like we're equal to them. I know damn well I'm not equal to no white man. And I wish black women who are in the feminist movement, this Me Too bush, sugar, honey, iced tea, would, would, would learn up and wake up that. a lot of, Not all black women. A lot of them black women in those things, they really think they're equal to white women. Some of them probably even want to be white women. I know Oprah said she wanted to be a white woman. Now, I wonder if she has so many white friends and all that stuff and act all sedity and look down her nose upon the black community, especially black men. But she won't say anything about Harvey Weinstein or et cetera. But you guys let me know what you think. Like, share, subscribe. I'll talk to you in the next video.